Hi, I'm senior playologist John Ireton, here to talk to you about educational games and family fun. Experts tell us that children need visual reinforcement to help understand early addition. Simply Fun's Ice Hop teaches basic math in the right way by using manipulatives. This early math game is for two to four players, ages four and up. Which two or more cards combine to make the target total on my penguin card? Let's find out. The game comes with a scoreboard, 35 Ice Hop cards, 17 penguin cards, and four penguin pawns. Ice Hop helps children count from one to 50 and practice early sums. It introduces mathematical problem solving, such as three plus what equals seven. And using the penguin pawn to demonstrate each solution is a kinesthetic activity which provides physical and visual reinforcement. This pairs left and right brain activities. To play, each player should receive one of the penguin pawns. Shuffle both decks and give each player two penguin cards and three ice hop cards face down. The rest of the cards should be placed face down in two separate draw decks. Begin the ice flow by drawing the top card from the ice hop deck and placing it on the table face up. During the game, players will add more cards to this flow and remove the cards they need to complete penguin journeys. Let's find out how. Here's what a penguin card looks like. The number in the corner is the target total. On this card, it's five. There are two ice chunks on this card to get you started, but you'll need three more pieces to get to five and complete a journey. Two plus three equals five. Okay, how does this work in the actual game? The last player who saw a penguin takes the first turn. First, they should check whether they can complete a journey. Just put one of your ice hop cards down on either side of the ice flow. This is fairly common on your first turn, so don't feel bad. Draw a new ice hop card and end your turn. You should always have three ice hop cards and two penguin cards. After a few turns, there will be several cards in the ice flow, so you will have lots of choices for completing journeys. You can use ice hop cards from either side of the flow and even use more than one card if necessary to reach your total exactly. Use your penguin pawn to count out loud each ice chunk used in the journey. Then collect these cards in a face down pile in front of you. Remember to always end your turn by discarding one of your cards to the ice flow and then draw back up to a full hand. The game ends after the ice hop draw pile is empty. At this point, keep playing until some player has a turn where they're unable to play any cards and then the game is over. It's time to figure out each player's score. Everyone should place their penguin on the start space. Now, reveal your penguin cards from among those you collected and move pawns forward on the scoring board. The player with the highest total at the end wins the game. So that's how we play ice hop. Learning math was never so much fun as it can be simply fun style.